Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Here in this video, I will be showing you guys how I apply my pixie as well as different things you can use to apply pixie as in glue, the different types of pixie that there is, and also instructions on how to apply it like I did mention. And if you're new here, my name is Jess and I do types of no videos. So like I said, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe, make sure to turn on the bell so that we get notified to my upload. As well as do not forget to check out the description for any discount codes that are available as well as any of my social media will be linked down below. And I will also make sure to link down below any other products and i hope that you guys enjoy this is like a real um like i will be talking and then i will also do a voiceover if you guys are kind of wondering but yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and definitely comment down below if it helped hey guys so like i did mention in this video i will be showing you guys how i apply my crystal pixie and i am going to start off by showing you and telling you guys the different types of pixie that there is so obviously there is Swarovski, and then there is like regular pixie and i'm just gonna like give more information and get into it just so that we can stay informed um if you guys are a beginner or you guys didn't know about pixie or you know um, so to start off, um, Swarovski does have Pixie. So this one is the Classy Sassy Petite. Um, so this is five grams of um, Swarovski. So just to show you guys real quick, this is what it looks like. If any, if any of you guys have ever purchased it, so on the back, obviously, it does come with like um, information and stuff, and then it comes with like a little booklet and you know. So this is the actual, actual pixie, as you can see here. So this one is actually like a black. I don't know if you guys could quite tell, but it kind of just looks like little balls, but they're just like really small, tiny crystals. And then this one does come with a little, um, I guess you could call this like a funnel. I'm not sure, but this one is in black. So I do have it in black, as you could see. And then I also do have it in its regular color. Now I'm not quite sure the name of the regular color. I'm guessing it's just like AB. I'm not too sure. But this one is, but this is this one. And I believe this is 10 grams, I want to say. I'm not sure to be honest. So as you can see, it says Roski. And then it says no art crystal pixie um, all around the bottom. And this is this container. So I'm, this is more of a bigger portion so it does come with a different um container i guess you could say and the container that this one came in it just comes like in a box of this shape so um i i don't know what i did to it but um i will insert a picture if i find one if you guys are interested and i will also put how much comes in this one because honestly i'm not quite quite sure how much this holds i want to say maybe like 10 grams or 15 grams or even like 25 grams anywhere around there um so yeah this is this color so i do have these are the only two colors that i have um pixie in and then we do well at least i do i also do have the regular pixie so this is not Swarovski. this is just regular um pixie so this is like a metal color almost as you could see this is like a black and gold kind of and then this is what the regular um color would be in pixie so as you could see it does have kind of a big difference i don't know if you guys could quite tell but i feel like this is a little bit more wider and like lighter and this has more of like a crystal look to it i guess you could say um so yeah that's what it looks like so it is quite quite different so i do um have them in these containers which is what they come in just like this one so that's these but i also do have um a lot more bottles of these but i have in this container which i keep it which this is regular pixie so this is what it looks like but um i did actually mix it in with like i don't know if you guys could tell but they're like little balls so like this big piece right here is the pixie and then these are like little balls that i mixed it in but i didn't know like back then that it wasn't pixie so yeah i kind of just mixed in here so that's why i keep this separate from like the bottles but just to show you guys what it actually actually looks like or whatever i pour a little bit on my glove here so this is what the pixie looks like so it's just kind of like little itty bitty 
crystals and that have like a little pointed back i don't know if you guys can quite tell but that's what they look like so this is regular pixie um and another thing is that they do come in a bunch a bunch of different colors um i'm pretty sure swarovski i know for a fact swarovski has red um a red color but um in regular pixie it comes in like a, like a bunch a bunch of different colors like blue red purple i've seen pink I've seen like a light green and you know colors like that i'm not quite quite sure on to on swarovski but i do know for a fact that it does come in red so i definitely have to get my hands on that but i haven't yet but besides the point now i will be showing you guys how i apply my pixie now another thing is um you can use pixie or swarovski swarovski is getting discontinued um and like flat backs i'm not sure if the pixie is too but uh, who knows i would definitely say to get you like even this regular pack just so you can have it because this does last i mean unless people want it like if unless it's like really in and people want it but um i just have one of each in swarovski and then i do have like a bunch of these little ones um in this color specifically and then these are the only two other colors that i have in pixie for regular so yeah but other than that you could definitely go get your hands on a bunch a bunch of others but now I will be showing you guys how you apply the pixie. Now, another thing before we do get started with applying it, um, I would definitely suggest to have your pixie, your glue that you're, your glue that you're using, um, and another container, just because um, you do want to catch that access because you do not want to waste it. Whether it's Swarovski, whether it's regular, you don't want to waste it. Honestly, so here we have an empty container. Here is another container, which this is kind of like a dip container in a way. So like you put your finger and you put it and then pull it out and catch the access. So this is another type of container. And then here I have this double dip container. And again, same thing, you would just place your finger and then you catch the access. So you can use a bunch of different things, um, even like a container like this or even like a curly container if it's empty, whatever the case may be. Or even like a bowl, something that you want to catch the access. So just to give you guys some options. Okay, and for glue, you could use any glue that you wish. I have seen people use gel top coats and I've seen people use glue and like gem gels and stuff like that. But you could use anything you want but this is just some options that i was showing you guys so i am going to start off by just grabbing my dulce no sprinkles glue gel so this is a gel and i kind of just use a gel brush and i just grab a bit you don't have to get too much a little does go a long way all you want to do is cover the nail so like i said you want to grab a little bit so this is about how much i grabbed and since this is, is more like a practice um sample now i guess you could taste so this one is longer and it is in the stiletto so i'm just adding it to the nail as you could see and spreading it evenly and you want to make sure you spread it evenly so that when you cover the whole nail and you don't miss any spots and so it doesn't look patchy on your pixie so as you can see here i'm, I'm grabbing a little bit more and applying that to the nail applying it this is what it should look like and this is what i recommend to apply your pixie um i did get this gem gel in a nail boxy so i will make sure to link it down below if you guys are interested and another thing that i do recommend is whenever you're applying your gem gel um always wipe the sides whenever you're done so that way it helps you on after and you will see here in a bit why so i will be using some just regular pixie as you could see and um, I am using this little container to catch any access because like I said, as a nail tech, you want to save money. You want to save money when using supplies. You have to work very, very smart so that way you don't waste um, your money. Um, obviously, because like, if you this is your only job, um, 
you want to make sure that you pay your bills and you know all that so you want to make sure to catch that access so that way you could save it and reuse it obviously so this is what it looks like after i'm done applying my pixie so as you can see here with my finger i'm just pushing it inward or either taking it off because like i said um obviously if you're doing this on a client or even yourself you want to make sure there's nothing on the sides so that way it doesn't get stuck in your hair or whatever the case may be so as you can see this is what it looks like and after you're done applying your pixie um this is a gem gel or like a glue gel so um you do have to cure it in the light it doesn't dry on its own so i will be curing this for 60 seconds as you can see here after i'm done fixing it and how i want it and this is how it looks like it looks absolutely gorgeous and this is regular pixie this is not swarovski obviously i didn't use swarovski because swarovski is more of expensive and um i just use it on clients or even myself but i will be curing this for 60 seconds curing this is what it looks like and honestly the only reason i do recommend this more is because it does give you time to work with it and i love and i've seen that it does make a difference um it does last and as you can see here i'm just applying my finger and this is another thing i do recommend whenever you're doing this on a client after you're done curing it or after it dries whatever you use make sure to put your finger towards it and if any beads any beads any crystals come off make sure to cure it again or put more glue so then here this is why i mean to clean the sides it just helps you um have a nice cleaner look so after i apply my pixie i always make sure to get a file and just file the sides if i didn't um push the pixie in enough or if it moved a little bit whenever i was curing it whenever to put it in a cure so this is what it looks like and i think it looks absolutely bomb definitely comment down below your thoughts and also comment down below what you guys use to apply your pixie so here i will be showing you another different way to apply it and this way i did use um the other pixie that i was showing you guys that i mixed in with like some little i like little beads so i use just um a nail tip to apply it um if i don't have the little bottles because obviously with this container it's a little different so as you can see i am will be going in with my zule glue and i'm just gonna apply my glue onto the whole entire nail so i have actually never applied my pixie with the zule glue i believe once but um it just wasn't good i didn't like how it came out because my client did text me and she told me that it had came out so i was like what because the zule glue is bomb if you guys have tried it so that's why i started using the dulce nails one the dulce nail sprinkles one and it is absolutely amazing and i love it <laughs> applying my zule glue as you can see i'm just grabbing the nail tip and just pouring it onto the nail so i do also use this um pixie mix that i made um i do still use this sometimes it just depends on if i'm doing a clear nail underneath then i use the other one the regular pixie but if i have like a white or like um it's mostly white that i use it on if i have a white background then i use this but other than that um I don't really use the Zule one, but I have have I have heard good things about it, but I just, I guess I just haven't worked with it enough to know, to make it last long, if that makes sense. But here, as you can see, I'm pushing the Pixie in, and like I said, you always want to make sure you do this. So like I said, definitely comment down below any glues that you guys use to apply Pixie, 
and um I definitely I definitely recommend the Dolce one. I have seen that it does last, so definitely make sure to try it out if you guys haven't. But like I said, definitely comment down below more gem gels or even whatever glues you, you guys use because I definitely want to try new stuff. So please, 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 if you guys can, make sure to comment down below because I want to know your guys' opinions and thoughts. But as you can see, this is what it looks like. And also comment down below if you guys apply crisp. Uh, if you guys apply pixie the same way as I do um, but after this I always make sure after it's done drying or whatever um, I always brush it out just to see if any pixie comes off because it just you know it tells you it shows you um, whether it will come off or not but as you can see after this um, I do go ahead and apply my Mi Secret Activator because obviously I do do it with the crystals so I kind of figure it out um, if you apply the activator, maybe it would work, but this is what it looks like, and I still dry them, and I clean the sides, and always, always brush your pixie, because you, um, always want to see if the pixie comes off or not, so, as you can see, I'm just cleaning the sides, as you can see, and this is what it looks like. I will also make sure to link down below all the products that I use, link down below, so make sure to go check that out, and always apply your finger to see if anything comes off, so as you can see, a little bit did came off, as you can see, so like i said it kind of goes both ways you definitely have to practice um how to work with things and um try to get to figure it out so i don't use the zuli one but i just thought it would be nice to include it because i do use the zuli glue so just you know my opinion but i definitely definitely recommend the dulce ones so as you can see here i'm just grabbing my file and filing the sides to make sure that it is nice and clean I'm done filing this is the end result and i hope that you guys enjoyed do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up as well as do not forget to subscribe do not forget to turn the bell so that we can to my upload and definitely comment down below how you guys feel about me applying pixie definitely comment down below your thoughts and opinions because i would love to know i will also make sure to link down below any of the products and i hope that you guys enjoyed and see you guys in the next one